So imagine I've got this URL here and I want to feed in what the participant ID is for my uh, particular participant. Now your recruitment platform will handle what that value is exactly. Um, but the important thing for us to know is that the way our survey retrieves information from the URL is via what we call a query string. You'll notice in that URL, if you have a look at it, you'll notice just before the survey ID, there's a question mark, right? So it says question mark, survey ID equals, and then it's got a long number. Now that question mark is what we call a query string. It's what's feeding in information. We want to know how we feed in the participant ID to that. So what we would do is we could quite simply say, uh, add the ampersand sign and say participant equals, and I'll say one, one, one. So from that, your recruitment platform has piped in that participant value. Okay, your survey now has access to that value. You could even display it, by the way, in one of your questions with curly brackets participant. What we're going to do is then pass on that participant ID on with the completion URL at the end of the survey. Now, I'm actually going to use a survey that I had earlier that I prepared earlier, and that's going to be where I redirect my participants to. So what I want to do is send my participant on. In this case, I'm sending them on to a different survey. But in your case, it could be you're sending them back to Sonar. It could be you're sending them back to Prolific. So we quite simply want to populate this completion URL section. So I'm going to use quotation marks and the name of the link that I'm sending my participants to. In this case, I'm sending them on to another survey. But because I'm also wanting to pass on that participant information, I'm going to say and participant equals. And then outside of that quotation mark, I'm using plus and in brackets participant. Now that value, you'll recall, remember, I don't have a question in my survey that's called participant. So where it's getting that value from is the original value that's fed in at the start of my survey. So what I'd like you to do just to check that that works, I'm just going to, for example, change 111 to Becca. And I'm going to imagine, okay, so Becca's been fed in from my recruitment platform. I'm going to answer some questions and then I'm going to complete the survey. And at that point, I've been redirected, in this case, to another survey. And that survey actually is also showing me what my participant ID is, just to show that full pass through of that information.